Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Brian over at Capital City Bricks with another haul video and a status update on my track ballast endeavors. What you see before you is the main part of the R40 curve for building the ballast. And of course, it's not very big, but not very detailed or intricate. Just have to keep an eye on where you're putting the parts. I mean, I guess you could put them anywhere you want, but um, a lot of two by two tiles, uh, one by one tiles, one by one plates. The only problem is, is I don't have any one by one rounds. And I didn't even take that into consideration as I was ordering the parts. So I can still, you know, finish out the majority of it, but I just won't be able to put the rounds over on this side or on this side. So there are some one by one rounds that go on the outside over here just to give it that, you know, that gravel look. But overall, it's coming along pretty good. Um, working on the straight track ballast and I'll have to work on the other side of the, that goes over here. It's the, uh, it's on a 16 by 16, but I'm gonna do it on a 32 by 32 by 32, do the half curve, and then I'll go over and do half of a straight. And I, th I think it'll work, because um, I don't have any 16 by 16s. And I use my trusty mallet to bang down the parts. I know it sounds like I'm treating the Lego bad, but or badly, but I'm not. Um, the sides are not very hard, they're a little squishy. Um, and they unscrew and all I do is, is you know rather than have to go down and push with your fingers just place the part down and then just give it a light tap and then they're locked in uh, saves a little bit of time and um, that's one reason why I bought this mallet um, I got it at Joanne fabrics and you can also buy it on Amazon I don't remember how much I paid for it. It wasn't too much, a couple bucks, four or five dollars. But it's coming in handy now. Um, you know, as you can see, you just tap down the parts. And you could actually use, a, you know, another brick if you really didn't want to damn, you know, try and scuff them up or anything. But, you know, that's what I've been using. I like it. So, without further ado, let's show this order that we have. And here it is, ta-da! So I got this in the mail yesterday, just so you can see how thick it is. And it is from a seller here in Florida, and I just happened to chance upon their store. And I really need these parts. These are not the one by one rounds, unfortunately. However, it is parts that I need, and well packaged, I might have to say. Um, Arrived safe. I didn't think it would fit in my P.O. box, but it did. Oh, wow. Check this out. Hopefully the camera's not shaking. I'm probably shaking the camera. And they put it in a bubble mailer, a priority mail bubble mailer, which is nice to help to protect it. Let's see here. We'll just... Cut along here. I'm not worried about cutting anything inside as it's plastic and these are just going to be mostly hidden. So if they get scratched, they get scratched. <laughs> they went above and beyond on the packing. Another, another bubble mailer. Ta-da! These are 2x8 dark bluish gray plates for the straight track ballast. I have a bunch of straight track that I have that's ready to be about, you know, laid down. And I've been looking, they had these, about every one of them they had, 60, something like that. 
a really good price and it's here in Florida so it only took it a couple days to get to me and now I just gotta get off my lazy keister and start finishing the uh, process so that's all I got for now uh, Lego order excuse me Bricklink order and you can see and I just shook the camera and you can see the progress that I'm making for the curved ballast I'm gonna do a bunch of these and then I'll figure out my final design and I'll be able to lay them together and then I'll start working on the switch tracks I gotta order more parts for the switch tracks so that's all I got for now I hope everybody has or has had or is still having a good time in Bama at Brickfest Brick Fair Brickapalooza I always forget what it is I would have came but unfortunately I had to work yesterday which today is Sunday and yesterday was Saturday so I had to work and I would have come up Friday and then you know spent the weekend but I couldn't and I was gonna go today but where I'm at in Tallahassee it takes about five hours to get there and five hours to get back so um, you know just for a couple of hours today because it's only open from 10 to 4 I think so I was gonna go but I figured I wouldn't just to save a lot of time so I hope everybody had a great time I'm looking forward to see the videos that everybody has and maybe see some of the great stuff that they brought back with them that's all I got for now this is Brian with Capital City Bricks Coming to you from Tallahassee, Florida. Y'all have a great day.